All right, everybody, welcome to video eight, part two, comprehensive sketches. Uh, I'll be continuing the work I just did in the previous part, but I'll be taking a slightly different approach where I'll be drawing out the character design rather than uh, blocking it in mostly. All right, so I decided to take uh, a slightly different approach on this one, and I'm gonna try to draw out the design rather than uh, blocking it in with uh, the thicker brushes like I did previously. And this can, how you approach character um, design is totally, you know, up to the individual and your preferences on style, etc. There's no right or wrong way to do any of this. Whatever you're most comfortable with. I left the, the character's anatomy on a layer below and I'm, I lowered the opacity and I'll, I'm just drawing above it on a regular layer with a hard round brush. Noodling out the design. It's always tricky to coming up with um, an original take or even personal style on on characters. Sometimes I get asked that, how, how do you come up with the, your style? Um, for me personally, it's something I really didn't uh, consciously think about a lot. It's, uh, you know, generally it's something you just develop over a period of time, creating lots and lots of art. Um, I don't think my, my personal style is strong in any um, certain discipline. Like it's not heavily manga or anime influence. It's not extremely realism. It's, and it's somewhere in the middle. The people that you study and uh, your influences definitely um, are a bit of a factor in that as well. I mean, if, if you grew up on an island and you were only studying kind of Japanese animation styles, I mean, that's all you would know and your art would probably naturally gravitate towards looking similar. So if you kind of study the artists and their techniques that you really like, chances are your art will start to develop in similar directions. It helps though, um, just to familiarize yourself with just painting in general and um, getting to know the fundamentals and the core basics down and then really uh, start focusing on experiment, experimenting with different techniques and stuff. Of course that's part of the growing process as well and you'll train your artistic eye to kind of see and catch more things. Yeah, I mean, generally speaking, your, your artistic style will just uh, constantly evolve and there's no right or wrong style to have. It's just a matter of you got to look at the type of clients you want to work for and make sure it's appropriate for them. You, you don't want to be sending like a book or a portfolio to or, you know, um, an application to a, a studio that is just not working or their work doesn't look anything like what you have. Though sometimes there are exceptions and they feel an, a new artist like that can just bring something totally new and fresh to the table and they'll take you on and hopefully you'll be able to lead or be part of a team that will uh, take uh, some new, uh, some more of their projects in a new direction. Here I just took a shortcut. I was, uh, I drew out one leg and I wanted the other leg to be uh, symmetrical so I just kind of copy and paste the design over. Now I'm just erasing back in. I find it a little, slightly bit more difficult to design this way because my mind is constantly trying to figure out, you know, what are the values and materials and um, all those things at once and the, the line drawing. It, well, it gives you design decisions. It doesn't necessarily confirm in my head as many things as I want to see happening at once, but you know, I do practice both methods.
Now, if I were to give any more tips uh, regarding uh, portfolio building, I would say uh, it definitely helps to build build one based around a theme. Um, and this you can kind of come up with once your your drawings or paintings are a bit more consistent, and uh, a theme would just tie everything all together, kind of like a fictional project base, more or less what this character is for. But but I'm just doing it entirely for fun and hoping uh, someday I'll have enough of these characters in their world to just kind of build a unified art book from it. Presentation is a a huge part of that. Uh, I would say really, uh, I mean these. Uh, what you see here, that these uh, comprehensive sketches are, you know, no more than sketches. I wouldn't put them on the front page of a portfolio or anything and use these to showcase any kind of skill. They're they're just more or less personal at uh, this point. Used to that I'll use in the final illustration. So it's all towards that, and ultimately that final illustration I will get to pretty soon is just. It, pretty much the only thing from this whole body of work I've been doing that I would put in the portfolio, but it, it just goes to show you how much thought or um, care, practice, you know, whatever can go into a single design or piece. You know, there can be just a lot. I mean, we, we all see amazing artists out there every day posting new work that's just amazing and mind blowing, but unless they go out of their way to give a, a thorough breakdown of the process, we're, we're never really sure how much work went into a piece. I, I sure as know a lot, of, a lot of artists out there do make a lot of what they do look effortlessly, but you know, I'm sure it just comes from years and years of hard work and practice. But being able to evaluate yourself on a kind of critical level is one of the harder things to do but you know it's also a necessity for all of us to grow most of us work isolated in our own uh, offices and at our desks and so we don't have you know the constant classroom stimulation to get kind of feedback on which is why uh, you know the online groups and uh, any kind of posting like that is also good for feedback but you just have to have a thick skin and you know put it on post what you do and um basically prepared to take a beating with it because you know definitely when you start off and you, you and I do now is you just get a lot of things wrong and it just helps to have as many people as you can help you figure out what that is so you can constantly uh, improve it and basically keep making that mistake less and less as you uh, work on pieces. All right, I'm going back in now to add some tones and finally give this give this chick some boots. I, I'm thinking now of it from her world, and it's uh, trying to get myself into the perspective of her um, her society. It, you know, was advanced to you know to a degree at least. That's what her outfit is telling me. So I think she wouldn't have like these little leggings, but more like sophisticated looking boots. So I'm gonna try to jot that in now. You have a little bracelet and then you know the legs and the bodysuit is still very asymmetrical. I'm really not sure how I'm feeling about that yet, but I'm glad I explored these ideas so I can see what I like or don't like when they'll all be lined up. In the next part I'll begin to kind of just tone these with a little bit of color, help kind of figure out the direction that will go in. The color is a a whole you know class and a book with basically within itself but um hopefully i'll say enough to kind of get by at least at this phase and we'll work out the rest of it as we do the final uh, character illustration or concept yeah i think i'm definitely not going to go with the cape i'm digging the scarf more perhaps a bit too long though on the, the outer right uh, images I don't know, I'm even liking the no headdress as well. This is something about how simple and pure it is. We'll kind of reflect her as a character. 
I mean, they got it really busy with all the hair and the headdresses and, um, what was it, Padme with Star Wars, and they were absolutely all beautiful, but if I was going to draw this character a lot, you know, and she wouldn't be, you know, for, for my purposes, she wouldn't be a, uh, a model in a live action thing, so it'd be easier just to dress up somebody and whatever, have her walk around, but if I'm going to draw this character more than, I, for, you know, for that sake alone, I would want to keep it a little bit more simple than that. Anyway, so th this is about wraps this one up. I'm just going to do the design on the scarf here, and I will see you in the next part, and we'll add some color to these.